So today is the first legitimate test of this four-wheeled off-road, we don't really have a name for it yet, but off-road wheelchair, I guess you could call it. Cambry still does not know it's coming. It has been painted. This test is happening before I send it off to get powder coated. Cambry in the past has ridden this other bike behind me. It's an, an electric bike with adult training wheels, but it's not something I would really trust to let someone go ride by themselves because a lot of bad things can happen. If it tips over, there's literally, you know, no way to get back on the bike. So this four-wheeled off-road wheelchair is much safer, much more stable, and I'm excited to see how it handles on this first test out in the wild. Me and my little brother are going to take it on a hike of sorts. He's going to drive it and uh, we'll see what happens. Let's get started. And it is tied down and in place. We are good to go. Spencer, this is the bike. What is your first opinion after seeing it for the very first time? Happy to be a crash test dummy for this thing. Perfect. Looks pretty good to me. <laughs> I think it's gonna fall apart. Think it'll work? I sure hope it does. So one thing I did design specifically was that the wheels are narrower than the wheel wells in my truck. I can just load the bike into my truck and don't have to worry that it won't fit between those two bumps. Okay, so both batteries right now are fully charged. We're gonna take it on a trail, so it's gonna be more of like a crawl and less of like a speed race. When Cambry gets inside of it, right here along the side, I imagine she's gonna be able to roll her normal wheelchair up and then do a transfer into the seat. But for people whose legs work, it's a little bit harder because you kind of have to crawl over the side. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go, let's do this. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get in. Perfect. Does it have a reverse? No reverse, but you can just grab the, just grab the tires with your hands and back up. <laughs> okay, how was it? Uh, who needs helmets, right? <laughs> okay. So if you haven't watched the main video where we assembled this thing, I'll put a link for that in the video description. But basically we built this whole thing from scratch, just a little seat mounted between two electric bikes. And the electric bikes have a top speed of 20 miles an hour with a range, I think, of 20 miles. So two bikes in tandem, if you're using the motors a little bit here and a little bit there because each motor works independently, you should be able to go pretty far with it. We definitely won't be pushing 20 miles today. Today's more of just like the off-road portion of the testing. But so far, it's doing pretty good. So Spencer's gonna try to do this trail right here, which is gravel and pretty darn steep. All right, so there's a pretty deep rut on this side, so stay over on that side over there. How's it feeling out? That's going backwards. Okay, so right here, there's a lot of gravel and there's no traction, so I bet an asphalt trail would work. Let's keep going on the uh, on the trail. So we discovered the bike is built more for speed and flat ground than it is for like torquey and uphill uphill adventures. Which is fine because most of the time it's going to be on a flat surface anyway. So this is a gentler slope. We should be okay on this one. Oh, easy. Look. <laughs> no way. Ooh, lost one, lost traction. Nice. Yeah, one of the tires lifts up back here and he lost traction for just a second and kind of killed his momentum. But overall, it's still working. All right, so we found this little riverbed. Spencer's gonna come down here, come across this, and then we're gonna try to go up the other side. Might be pushing the limits, but we'll see what happens. Power? Okay, I'm gonna give you a little push. Okay. 
That was, okay. <laughs> Almost made it. You can see where he started to peel out right there. I think if it wasn't so muddy and that this whole thing probably weighs 150, 175 pounds, give or take. And then Spencer's weight on top of that, we just need more traction in the tires. That was good. Oh boy. Nice. I wonder if we had tires with a little bit more aggressive tread because the tires on this one are just tiny little niblets. Aggressive tread might be good. <laughs> All four tires on the ground, buddy. How fast were you taking that turn? <laughs> this thing turns pretty tight, I'm surprised. It would be impossible for a normal wheelchair to go where we're going right now, and that's with someone pushing it. This is fully electric. How much battery do we have left? Are we still 100%? Still 100%. We've been doing hills for like, what, 20 minutes now, give or take? It's impressive. I think Camry's gonna be pretty excited about it. So close. Yeah! Getting a little mud on the tires. But yeah, these don't have a whole lot of traction when compared to like off-road tires or off-road mountain bikes. Okay, I'm gonna follow you in my truck. Okay, so now we're just gonna put some miles on it. These bikes are street legal because they go less than 20 miles an hour. And so having two bikes in tandem should still be street legal. We'll see. So Spencer just took the bike around this uh, paved bike trail. What do you think? I'm pretty impressed. Uh, it can go 20 miles an hour on either one of these just by themselves. Wasn't too sure what to think about it first getting on, but held together, super solid, mass produced these bad boys. <laughs> Is there anything you would change about the bike? Just like positioning of the handlebars is probably the only thing. She is smaller than you though. It's true. So we decided to keep the turning radius pretty tight so that like, since there's no reverse, these bikes don't have a reverse. The only way to turn around is with the sharp turning radius or reverse can sometimes happen just with your hands on the back tires like this. Just kind of like pulling back on them. All right, that is it. We have put nine miles on it. I think it went pretty well. It still survived. Did some hills, didn't do other hills. Huge thanks to my brother for helping me out with this. Appreciate it. He didn't die this time. That's great. We try to achieve that goal every time. Thanks Tom for watching. I'll see you around